this song takes place on uh, something that's actually coming up here. It's going to be here before we know it. It's the next uh, major holiday and just so happens to be my favorite holiday. Does anyone know what it is? It's not Valentine's Day. Halloween. Yeah, I love Halloween. Who likes Halloween? Halloween's awesome. Okay, so um, I wrote this song that takes place on Halloween, and it takes place on a farm. And the animals on this farm are ridiculously silly. They are so silly. They love playing tricks on the farmer because they can't eat candy, because animals really can't eat candy. It's not good for them. So they just do the trick part of trick-or-treating. Will you tell me afterwards, Olivia? Because I really want to hear the story, but we're, we're strapped for time. Can you tell me your story afterwards? Okay, awesome. Thank you. I really want to hear it. I just, they won't be able to all hear it, and then we'll, we'll talk after. Okay, so this is called The Mixed Up Farm, and it's really silly. Hopefully you guys can handle it. Here we go. children's interpretation of cross fingers. Those are all perfect. Let's go. Here we go. So the pig said oink and the horse said may and the rooster said cock a doodle doo and the duck said quack and the chicken bop 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 and the little bitty cow looking out from behind the mama cow said moo. Were those the right noises? Oh awesome. Thank you guys. The baby chick, the baby chick wasn't there that time. He was taking a break. So now every year, right around Halloween, I find myself heading out west to a cute little farm at the bottom of the hill. It's the one that I love the best. It makes me smile, then it makes me laugh. It has more than your average country charm. And the farmer, he always says, hey there, Stacy, welcome back to the Mixed Up Farm. Where the cow says, oink, and the duck says, hey, and the pig says, cock-a-doodle-doo, oh no. And the sheep says quack, and the horse the bonk, and the 